Hello, and welcome to Lesson 1 of the Introduction to Big Data and Hadoop course offered by Simply Learn. This lesson provides an introduction to Big Data. Further, it gives an introduction to Hadoop as a Big Data technology. Let us explore the objectives of this lesson in the next screen. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain the characteristics of Big Data Describe the basics of Hadoop and HDFS architecture. List the features and processes of MapReduce. Describe the basics of PIG. In the next screen, we will focus on the need for Big Data. Following are the reasons why Big Data is needed. By an estimate, around 90% of the world's data has been created in the last two years alone. Moreover, 80% of the data is unstructured or available in widely varying structures which are difficult to analyze. As IT systems are being developed, it has been observed that structured formats like databases have some limitations with respect to handling large quantities of data. It has also been observed that it is difficult to integrate information distributed across multiple systems. Further, most business users do not know what should be analyzed and discover requirements only during the development of IT systems. As data has grown, so have data lakes within enterprises. Potentially valuable data for varied systems such as Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP and Supply Chain Management or SCM are either dormant or discarded. It is often too expensive to integrate large volumes of unstructured data. Information such as natural resources has a short, useful lifespan and is best used in a limited time span. Further, information is best exploited for business value if context is added to it. In the next screen, we will focus on the characteristics of big data.